Good morning, Mark. Good morning, aspiring PhD. Sorry, I can't remember your name. Good morning, Justin. What of you, right? The loons are out here. They're cooing away. Cheryl. Gosh, why can't I remember your name? I'm so sorry about that. Hey, Tim. That was quite a win last night. Go Cubs. So, can you hear the loons, guys? Good morning, Al. Hello, Anne Twain. Definitely a quiet sunrise. The whole family's here. I saw all three of them. Hello, Thomas. You're right over there somewhere. It is kind of awesome. So awesome. Not scared, no. Happy Halloween, everyone. Hello, Hamel. Hello, Tampa. I love Tampa. On Halloween, yes, the loons are awesome. Hello, Catherine. How was my Halloween? Um, we have trick or treat tonight. Actually, I still have to get candy. I haven't done that yet. Just got back from Chicago, guys. It was awesome. Actually ended up not scoping a lot. Good morning, Dew. Thanks for stopping by, Antoine. I'm loving the loons. Hello, Catherine. Hey, Mark. Yes, trick or treat. Beggar's night. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the flights were awesome. Flights were awesome. The city was awesome. I um, had a lot of fun. <laughs> um, gosh, when someone was asking me about Chicago, I don't know where to start. <sighs> it is beautiful. It's so peaceful. Such a contrast to the city. Thanks, Ken. Yeah, cubs. I love this one. Hearts for the cubbies. Tim, you must have. Did you see the. Um, did you see Eddie Vedder saying, Take me out to the ball game? Did you see that? I just posted it on Facebook with Harry Carey playing in the background. That was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. Just saying. Not saying, but I'm just saying. It was pretty intense. It's like they were waiting for game six just so they could have that moment. It does look like a mirror. Right, Al? Crazy awesome. So I went to Harry Carey's when I was in Chicago. Tried to win a couple tickets to the game, but Ron Kozlowski won them. Clouds are going to light up a little here. And watching his reaction when he won was almost as good as winning them yourself. I got to meet Sugar Ray Leonard when I was there. Harry Carey, yeah. I had my picture taken with Sugar Ray Leonard. He looks, damn, he looks good, ladies. Hello, Louise. I'm just gonna ramble. I'm just reminiscing about my awesome weekend. 
because I didn't scope when I was there a lot. Live.me. Yeah. Derek is here. Hey, Derek. The winds are going crazy this morning. Hey, Mark. How are you, Derek? What adventure are you going on today, my friend? Oh no, now we're starting to hear the gunfire. Starting and a car alarm from the hunters in the woods. You're good. Derek, have you ever been to Chicago? Pretty awesome city. Kind of a great view, yeah. Never gets old. <sighs> Never gets old, this view. Kinda awesome. Only the airport. Yeah, pretty awesome city. I'm just happy I can breathe again. No offense, Chicago, but there's just, there's absolutely, <laughs> I can't even describe the difference in the air. Like just being able to breathe. City air is. Yeah, the clouds are turning pink. Pretty awesome. If Periscope, okay, first of all, I'll just talk about Periscope dying. Really, people? Um, Periscope's not gonna die today. They, they can't possibly. The only way they would delete this app is if a true competitor came along, I think. Good morning, Russell. Um, and more and more sports teams are using it now. I tried Facebook Live. I'm not. It's not interactive, guys. So, not to answer, not to not answer your question, Thomas, I don't know. That's a very difficult question to answer. I'd probably just throw my phone in the lake. It's not going to die. Yeah, Al, Al's got it in, he knows. It's just drama, guys. It's just drama. You know, trying to any any attention brings attention to the app, even negative attention. I'm I'm a wicked conspiracy theorist. Look at those pink and blue clouds right there. It's pretty awesome. I wish the loons would come over and say hi. They're hanging in the shadows over there. Someone bought Twitter, Thomas, really? Was it the Japanese buyer? The loons. Yeah. It's nice and quiet here this morning. I don't hear as many cars as we've been hearing. The birds are starting to wake up because here comes the sun. You can hear the birdies. cold though. It's 35 degrees Fahrenheit. It's chilly. Mmm, so pretty. The lake is getting colder. That's why we're not having, we don't have as much mist. Here comes the sun, guys. Yes, 35 degrees. Chilly. In the 80s, oh my gosh. It was like in the 70s when I was in Chicago. It's pretty awesome. You might have to email Ryan just to make sure, yeah. I have not seen that in my feeds yet, so 
87 in Dallas. I want to go to Dallas. I want to go back to Austin. What cities, what are your favorite cities, guys? Where do you like to visit? I probably take Boston for granted. It's not even on my list just because I can go there whenever I want. I like Tampa. Miami is beautiful. Vancouver, I've never been there, Thomas. What's the weather like in Vancouver right now? Sela Sela Ketos. I just saw a fish jump over there. I just heard something move in the woods behind me. Probably just a small animal. Bit. This is the time of year. All the animals will come out. You've never been to Boston. Boston's an amazing city. Very confusing to drive in. Not as confusing as Chicago. Las Vegas. Oh, really, Al? Really? I'm not a Vegas fan. Um, I don't know. I love the shows in Vegas. Probably a couple reasons. I'm a total gambler. I have like an addictive personality, so Vegas is not a good place for me to be anyway. I'd totally sit at a blackjack table for hours. <laughs> LA, San Francisco was amazing. Love San Francisco. Of course, New York City, Dallas, I've never been, so I want to go. Al, is Vegas your favorite city because they have girls to your room and like? What did the shirt say? Like seven minutes or something? That That's my memory of Vegas. Girls to your room in like seven minutes or something. And they go down the street and they and just promote the fact that <laughs> they can, if you want a girl, that's where you should go. <laughs> No clue about that. Never heard of that. Hmm. Maybe it's new. I don't know. I saw the Beatles, the Cirque du Soleil Beatles love show when I was there. That was a pretty awesome show. I also saw um, Chris Angel. And Flavor Flav was in the audience sitting right next to me. What goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas, exactly. You know, do we say the same thing about New Hampshire? What happens in New Hampshire stays in New Hampshire. <laughs> Just kidding. This, this is what happens in New Hampshire, that's why. Nothing. We just watch. We watch the water. The stillness of the water. <laughs> Chris Angel, yeah. He's a showman. I was sort of a Chris Angel fan for a while. For his TV shows. Yeah, and then I saw a show live. Here comes the sun. It's quiet. This is going to be one of the quietest sun. Chica and Rodian and Rodian.
kisses. That's quite the profile pic you have there. What's your name, and Rodin, and Rodin? Sorry if I'm slaughtering your handle. It's a sex bot? Mark, what? This is so There's a little nest too. Just a little. So I don't get the red orb anymore, but I do get two little green dots. Is there a way to get rid of that? Maybe put them in this one. There we go, then they disappear. <laughs> there you go, Thomas. Thomas is a lover. It's like, hook me up, sex bot. I'm not using my headphones because I'm so glad it's not windy. I had to plug my phone into a battery or it would die from the cold. Really? Is that a sex bot? Now they can chat too. That's kind of cool. Well, the other thing I did this weekend is I checked out a virtual reality experience. Have you guys been following that? Wow, Mark, that's wild. Thanks, Russell. Should I block them? Are you moderating them? Her profile pic's kind of hot, though, I'm just saying. <laughs> Um, yeah, I did a virtual reality thing. Spam. Market is spam. New bots are interactive now. Oh no. Thank you, Al. Um, after you followed her, right? <laughs> saying, just saying. Oh, it's so quiet here. What a contrast from my time in the city this weekend. Unreal. Just going from crazy sirens and city noises all through the night to this. An occasional gunshot because hunting season has begun. Got a little bit of the fall colors left. No, Russell, I didn't. Ow. You have your own bots to deal with. Not gonna follow any new ones. Yeah, the lake is perfectly still this morning, isn't it? Yeah, the hunters. The hunters are out. The hunters are here. Um, so no, Russell, or whoever asked, I didn't... I was... I was hoping to go to the game, but I only wanted to go selfishly to see them win. So that didn't happen, but just like the 04 Red Sox, guys, just like the 04 Red Sox, they're going to win it away. That's okay. A win's a win. Feeling. I have a feeling. Hello, Luke. Hello, my Aussie friend. How are things in the land down under? It's not over till it's over. Exactly, Mark. The sun has a big unibrow, I suppose. I don't really look at it that way. Is that what you see? <laughs> Rachel. It's Rachel Thomas. Birds are quiet this morning. Guess a lot of them have left. Apparently. 
but the limbs are still here. They were right here when I came out this morning and quickly swam away. Still waiting for summer. It's 35 degrees Fahrenheit here in Luke, so just slightly above zero, I guess, to convert that. I guess in fall colors. Most a lot of the leaves are off the trees now. Ah, yes, chilly. It's already been snowing um, north of here. They had uh, quite a bit of snow. People, people, Rick is here. Everyone follow Al in Tokyo. Guys, put up some emojis if you broadcast so people follow you. I should see. Now, is that a bot with the cat, Ch Chadelia? Hi, Stone. Stone, I met you in Chicago. Are you, uh, are you from Chicago? Pumpkins. Thomas, is that a, is that a sex bot too? Right there, Al in Tokyo. He's in. Guess where Al is, guys? <laughs> and and boo, Rick's Rick's everywhere. He just gets around. He's in Boston and Salem and scoping witches and babies and sunrises and he's just pretty awesome. And Tony right there. Hey, Flatfish. Hey, Tony. Wow, these are all bots, right, guys? He might be in Japan, Luke. Is Tokyo in Japan? I thought it was China. Hi, hi. Beauty morning. Yes. It's a beautiful morning. Such a contrast. You're not a bot. Okay. <laughs> There's been quite a few bots in here this morning. Hmm. I just keep holding it there because of these two dots. Rick, is there any way to get rid of those two dots right there? Do you know? You're laughing. What's your name? Don't know what to call it. The bot army has arrived, right? Rick's a boy. Rick's a hot papa. He's a hot papa bo bot. Hot papa bot. Can't say that fast. Sunrise scopers. Michael. Nice to meet you, Michael. Where are you from? <laughs> you meant bot. You're a hot bot. <laughs> Luke's a bot. We're all bots. I'm a bot. Sunrise is amazing. Michael from Houston. Awesome. I've... Houston did well yesterday, didn't they? Smack the bots. I, I, I crushed it in my fantasy league. Even though, even though, for the first week in several weeks, I put Derek Carr on the bench and I played Luck. Oh my gosh. Your energy, not a boy, not a bot. I mean, what was I thinking? Not a bot. <laughs> yeah. It's always going to autocorrect bot to boy. Okay, bye Cheryl. Thanks for stopping by. Great to see you. <laughs> I don't know. Tim. Tim. Al won too? Al, you must be... I haven't heard you say you haven't won. I had a couple losses. But, um, I, I have a pretty good team, I think. Shaking out that way. Kind of getting there. Michael, I'm on a lake in central New Hampshire. So I'm a couple hours north of Boston. 
You're six and two. Wow. I think I'm five and three. But the pats pats get their bye week. Next week. Pats are six and one. Seven and one? Wait. Yeah. Noise. Here's some noise now. The car. Or that could be the wind. Bikes path Super Bowl. Oh, no more loses for you, Thomas. That's pretty cool. You trolled the bots. You trolled the bot away. That's the wind. In that, there's really tall trees behind me. The sun is starting, the heat from the sun is starting to move the air. Lit up the trees over here too. <laughs> Bill Burr's podcast. <laughs> the NFL is not big in Australia, right? Although they had another London game yesterday, right? Kind of awesome. Dr. Linsler, nothing he can do. But it's not the big red orb anymore. This is the seven plus guys. One of my first broadcasts was this on. And it definitely has improved the orb issue. Yes, I'm a technology junkie. This is the 7 Plus. It's an extensive breath being taken in by the earth, living thing as well as we are. It's beautiful, Michael. Feeling in Dallas. Oh my gosh, Tony Romo's taking a beating on the web right now. Rick, what's your favorite city? We were talking about this earlier. Since I just got back from Chicago, someone said Houston, Dallas, New York City, LA. I wouldn't put LA on my list. Al's favorite city is Vegas. San Francisco. Yes. Yes. I have yeah, that's definitely on top of my list. Fisherman's Wharf and crossing the bridge and going over to Napa Valley. Getting some wine. Going going north of the city. Beautiful, yeah. Then Singapore. You wouldn't choose a city. What city would you choose, Michael? Mm. You're very welcome. Seattle for the music, yes. Never been to Seattle. But that's, that's why I thought of Austin. Because I love the music, the live music in Austin. Ireland. Firework, yeah. Some is a firework. Probably Tokyo, yeah, definitely. Tokyo looks amazing. How about the scariest city since it's Halloween? Hey, um, egg drop. Sorry, I can't. Alex is. No. You're Alex's friend, but what is your first name again? Are you Joey? Kaizo is here. Detroit. Hmm. Yeah, Detroit sounds like it would be. Mills is the nicest place. I thought of um, Joey. Hi, Joey. Everyone meet Joey. Joey meet Michael. Um, I thought of Athens right away. Has anyone ever been to Athens? Athens is the only city I've ever been to 
where they were selling like automatic weapons in the street like openly that was pretty scary they have like this market Greece is beautiful but Athens is downtown that area where they have um, I mean it's it's fascinating it's interesting it's unique one of the one of the different well Russell but we're talking about maybe a city that more scary I've never been to Australia so I want to go to Australia they breed Hercules is there Athens is kind of intense very unique city just a mix of like ancient culture and yeah the lake is like a mirror Kaizo Michael wants to live in Australia it is like a mirror it's like a perfect reflection but the wind's picking up so we're losing that glass like look on the lake The trees are lit up. Well, I'm gonna go soon. But, but I loved Athens, even though it terrified me. Parts of it terrified me. Bonjour. Alright, guys, when the sun is up, the wind is picking up. I'm gonna go. Why, yes, Rick, I am dressing up for Halloween. I have, um, I am. To, to hand out candy, I'll dress up and hand out candy. I have a game I play on tr a trick or treat. I have, do you guys know what a parade costume is? So this isn't going to surprise you, but, and some of you have heard this story before. But I have a parade costume, which means it's like a mascot costume. I don't know, Russell, because I'm all, I'm kind of I'm, I've got there's a lot of video actually on the web. Um, I have a lot of fun on Halloween, so I put on this parade mascot costume that doesn't show my face, obviously. <laughs> anyway, and if and I stand perfectly still. You're afraid to, yes, yes, Rick, that would be, I think some people wouldn't get your sense of humor. I do, I love it, but I think I would be nervous to do that. But I have like a really friendly sort of parade costume and I'll put it on and I'll stand perfectly still holding a big um, container bowl of candy that says please take one good morning Bjorn because it sort of looks like um you know a statue kind of like but it's not real and then I'll wait till the kids get really close or if they take more than one and then I'll move and scare them and it's hilarious <laughs> Yes, Rick, I did. I've been watching all your snaps, too, and following that, that whole, um, clown, whatever you call it. It's crazy. You're crazy. You're insane. Al, have you seen it, too? Yeah, it's so fun. Uh, you know what? I'll try to get some video tonight of just the kids' reactions. Um, Clown Liberation Army, that's it. I knew it was long. The CLA, not the CIA, the CLA. Everyone follow Boston Camera on Snapchat. It's hilarious. <laughs> Hello, Nottingham, England. <sighs> you had that happen to you a long time ago? Well, it's a little bit of a lesson, too, because it says take one. So if they don't... Anyway. Everyone have a happy and safe Halloween. 
Rick be safe? What are you going to do if you're not the clown, the head of the Clown Liberation Army? Hey Bjorn. Early 90s, Jason was really popular. That was the hockey mask guy, right? Because of the lake here. Everyone used to bring that up a lot. You only took one. You'll just watch me just think, yeah. I probably can't. You can't really scope it. I don't like to scope people without their permission, so especially kids. It's kind of a bummer, but it would be really fun to scope the kids' reactions. It's kind of an awesome view, right? But it'll be fun. Go Cubs. Go Cubbies. Alright guys. Can we go? Enjoy the rest of this day. I actually have to work today, but it's nice being back in the fresh air of New Hampshire. Yeah, the kids will be, I know Russell. I'll try. Maybe I'll, I'll set up a camera and I'll try to, I might be able to do it with video. Bye Mark. Bye Mark. Um, probably shouldn't do it live, but maybe I'll get some clips. Everyone have a happy and safe Halloween, and there are so many of you here. I'm just gonna go. Enjoy the ween. Yes, Luke. Thank you, Rick. Thanks for inviting. Uh, let me see if I can see. Mark, Rick, Kiso, Chainsaw. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. Luke, Tim, Chica, hovering in the background. Russell, Al. Catherine's still here. All the all my marks. Dorset Mark and Iowa Mark. And I'm missing a couple. Thomas. And Kiso. Alright. Bjorn. Bye guys. If I missed you, sorry. Goodbye to you too. Have a beautiful day. Look at this, look at this, look at this view guys, it's going to be an awesome day, make it a good one, be safe guys, bye Stone, ciao, carpe diem.